Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tower reading for my cancer for the week starting February 15, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at gigileetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. And I also like to welcome all my new subscribers to my channel. Thank you so much. And thank you for all of those that have already subscribed. Thank you for your like, your share, your comments, and all the love that you have been sending my way. It means so much to me. Thank you very much. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media. And now for my cancer, on to your reading. I want you to know that before recording your reading, I always meditate, I spirit for guidance. I also shuffle the cards as well. <clears throat> and so we're starting this week with the Six of Wands for you, my Cancer, or the Six of Rods. This is a deck by Morgan Greer. It's a tarot deck. It's a great position to be in. Very, very, very positive position. Well, I think you were in all the water sun. I think um, cancer was very, was privileged um, to have this new moon in, in your, in Aquarius because it eliminated your eight house of, you know, of gains and other people money and sex and, you know, um, other people resource. It's a very, very interesting house and cancer felt very comfortable in that house. <clears throat> So you're feeling very confident, very victorious. Um, you also are out of Mercury, uh, you know, retrograde phase because you had, you know, uh, Mercury retrograde in your seventh house for a long time. Now, since last week, it's out of a shadow phase. So you have full clarity. And I think you learn so much about people, my cancer. You learn a lot about, you know, what is expected of you. Because it was in your seventh house and what you expect from other people as well. You're coming in very, very victorious. Great energy to start this week. And we have in the near past position here the three of swords. I feel that even, you know, with you being very victorious, the, you know, there could be some relationship that you had to uh, let go. Okay, maybe there's things about people that you didn't like. Or maybe you, you're no longer in the same place you were so you decide not to bring everybody with you but um uh, it's a card of that could signify separation it could be painful separation i think at least um emotionally just because cancer is not someone who let people go but i think most of you cancer now understand that you want different things in your life and a lot of things are manifesting positively and you only want to have the right people beside you, okay? Those that actually don't oppose you. Those that actually has the same value, the same love for other people that you have. So it's a, you know, it's, it's the inevitable, okay? And let's see what we have in the near past, uh, sorry, in the future position for you, my Cancer. We have the world, which is great because you did that, that, cleaning house in a way you know having mercury retrograde in the seven houses you know is a lot of people it's a house of you know seven away seven house away from the furthest house away from you so i felt i feel that you cleaned a lot and now you have this brand new positive energy i trust that all the people that are around you are supportive you know um also i feel that you know having Venus in in uh, Capricorn and Mercury in Capricorn is now giving you this blessing where other people also give you the respect where it comes naturally, where you are seeing, you know, for who you are, this deep connected um, soul with the universe. Because Cancer has those deep connection with different dimension, not just this world. Okay, but the world is, this card in the future is, a, is very important because it's a major arcana. It's also the last card of the whole deck. This signifies completion, a completion of life. 
there's something in your area of life that is completed and it's it's completed meaning if let's say you wanted to find true love while well, the people that are around you they are the one who could give you or want to give the true love if you let's say are in need of your vocation your career well if you're starting something now if you decide to say well i'm going to start this chances are this is what you should be doing now you know the universe has been showing you a lot of things about yourself and other people so i hope i trust that you use um all the knowledge and i see that you did because it propels it propels you to this place where you have now have this you know uh, knowledge of the world it's in the future position so with you going through all of this and mingling with all those other people now you have this deep, deep understanding of life <clears throat> okay and let's see what we have um in the position but i feel for cancer there's so much to say because a new moon also in the eighth house you know you know elevates you know it brings subject like death you know and rebirth and things like that so it's very deep especially when you're comfortable to go in that position you have you're able to touch people and you're being touched by other people so very special week for you cancer and we have in the outcome position we have the ten of cups so rest assured, Cancer, that all the connection that you have right now are deep and they are real as it gets. All the people that are around you are supportive of you. All the people that are around you are the people that are there and are aligned with your energy. Okay, there's this deep mutual love and respect that you're receiving from other people because you have been giving so much so this is important to remember that you have the ten of cups in the position of the outcome that says now your happiness is what is the most important thing for you that's what you learn is you want to be happy <clears throat> with people you want people to be happy with themselves but mostly you need to be happy with the people that are around you the people that cares okay, those that you care about it's gonna be a great week for you my cancer let me go let me know how it went. Leave me reviews. Leave me um, comments. Send me emails. Until then, send you lots of kisses. I love you, my cancer. Bye.